continuing in Perak Lamed Zayim, Pasuk Yud Gimel, Vayomer Yisrael El Yosef, Halo Achecha Roim B'Shchem, Lecha V'Shacha Aleihem, Vayomer Lo Hineni. Next Pasuk, it's a Pasuk we're focusing in on Emir Tzashem today. Vayomer Lo Lech Na Re'ei Et Shlom Achecha V'Et Shlom Hatzon V'Ashiveni Devar so here, the first thing which we need to note of curiosity is this idea of Yaakov Avinu is asking Yosef HaTzadik to check out not only the Shlom HaChecha, but also it seems like in the same breath at Shlom HaTzo. What are we to learn from that? So Rav Chaim Shulevitz, on page number 56 in the booklet, notes the following, and he speaks about, in his Inyan on Akara Satov, a very important Yisot. On the bottom left, he says, V'yesh hargashat chiyuv hakara tatov, ashir hi nachalat kol adam, v'chol echad modeh b'chiyuva. Everyone has to appreciate that this is a Yisot in every single person's life. It's a nachalat kol adam. Moving up a paragraph, I can understand that the Indian is a Yisod of Yiddishkeit. And I can even understand that the Chiyuv HaKarasatov is to those whom a person does, you know, favor to me and I have an Indian HaKarasatov back. The Chiddush of the Rav Chaim Shulevitz is, is Af Lamish Eino Bardat. It's not only, and Rav Dessler in the Mechtam Eliyahu speaks about this, it's the famous idea of Moshe Rabbeinu not striking the Yor, or uh, hitting the, the Afar, because even if something's not a Bardas, but it's done of Sotova, there's an Indian of Akar Soto. K'moshe Matzinu Katu, Vayomer Lo, Lech Na Re'ei Et Shlom Achecha Ve'et Shlom Atzo, V'amru Chazal, Et Shlom Achecha, Nicha, Elamai Et Shlom Hatzon, Hadamar sha'adam sarich lishol bishlom davar sheyesh lo hanayami menu. We see from here, Chazal say that anything that we get hana from, anything that we get any type of benefit from, we have to take interest in it. We have to show appreciation for it. V'hum get akar satov. The Indian of asking how it is is an Indian of akar satov. As long as we gain benefit, and that was their parnasa, and that was their clothing, and that was their food. As long as you gain hana from something, then there's mamish a chiyuf in Akara Satov, toward that item. So that's the first Ta'ara, as we saw, we noted, based on Rechaim Shulevitz, the Sichos Musar, in Mamish one breath, the Shlom Achecha, the Shlom Atzor, and this teaching us Midos. And we know the Nitziv teaches in his Akdama to Sefer Breshi, that Sefer Breshi, Chazal called Sefer Hayashar. Because it's not just telling us stories, it's telling us Derech Hayashros. And Derech Hayashros means that this is the way a person should be a... This is the goal. This is the epitome. And anything we get Hana from, it could be a computer at work, it could be any, whatever it is, anything we get Hana from, we have to treat with respect, and we have to take care of it, and we have to look out for it, and that's an Indian of Akara Satov. And obviously, when we have Akara Satov to the inanimate object, obviously it's supposed to engender within us the goal of Akara Satov to individuals as well. Our second issue, again, there's a lot to be said, we're just highlighting here, is the emphasis on Vashiveni Devar. Return the matter back to me. Now that's like obvious. If Yaakov Avinu is sending Yosef to see the Shlomatzon and the Shlomachacha the Shlomatzon, of course he's going to come back with a report. Why is it necessary for the Torah to tell us Vashiveni Devar? On this, the Rechaim HaKadosh teaches us the following, and he says, Lech Re'e V'chulik. If we say is that he's a shliach mitzvah, 
and Shlichei Mitzvah. Now, Nizokim, we now have what exactly is the Shlichos. So the first Pasuk is his desire, and now that he's ready, okay, now he's going to Mamish be sent, and this is the Shlichos. Why? Not only is he going to be Shliach Mitzvah in sending him there, he's going to be Shliach Mitzvah in on his return as well, that he should have protection. Because this is even according to the opinion. There's some opinions that hold that when is a Shliach Mitzvah not injured, that's only going. But coming back, there's no guarantee. That's why you'll have sometimes people will give you shliach mitzvah money. I don't know if you ever encounter this. And they say, this is shliach mitzvah money, and I want you to give it to Stucca on your return. So let's say you're going from Eretz Yisrael to America. When you come back to Eretz Yisrael, I want you to give it. Right? Most normally, right, somebody gives you shliach mitzvah money. When you get to America, you know, put in a pushka there. No. This is the idea based on this mandamar that you need not only protection,